Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ally Fight Gaming. And today we are talking about anime. If you like what you see, make sure you like the button, hit the subscribe button, and if there's any anime in this that you think I should watch after hearing the ones that I enjoy, leave a comment down below and tell me because I may not have seen it. I probably have, but I may not. So I'll give you a quick rundown on my anime history in life. I started watching anime probably at the age of 10. Uh, in Australia, it was shown on, what was it, ABC Australia, and SBS. SBS used to show Asian movies every Saturday night in the native language with English subtitles. So, that's basically where I see it. Like I've seen uh, Ninja Scrolls, uh, Legend of the Fiend, Blood, mm. the Count de Monte Cristo, epic car chase and that epic car chase. Uh, let's see, when I was ten, I was watching Astro Boy, Sailor Moon, sort of thing. Um. Because they were showing on Channel 7, I think, down there at the time. Saturday morning. I don't know. But they were, like, it was on, like, really, really early. It was, like, generally right after the Formula 1. Qualifying in that. For practice, I think. I, I don't know. It was, it was a long time ago, and I'm lucky to remember what I had for breakfast these days. But anyway, so this is basically going to be like a uh, top 10 based on my view. Remembering that my view is different from your view. I can basically guarantee it. You might like, you may like a couple of ones on here. In fact, if you're an anime connoisseur, you probably like at least three of them. Uh, but... Let's get on with the list. So the first one, which was a uh, really big surprise of the fact that I liked it. So we're going to throw this in here at number 10. Was I Me, My Strawberry Eggs. If you've never heard of it, no, I really don't blame you because it was pretty obscure, I think. Um, even the groups that I've and uh, message boards showing my age now uh, discord that bad I uh, talk to people about me on half of them or most of them because most of them are in their 20s which means they were just born as it came out because it came out in like 2001 uh, it was about a P phys ed teacher who couldn't find a job, but found a, but wanted to get a job in there was an old girls school uh, where he was living. And, but they would only hire female teachers. I mean, female teachers, female students. I mean, some weird crap can go on. But. As it turns out, the old lady that runs the inn helps him transform into a woman. Uh, so basically, it's like cross dressing sort of thing. And it's a story of his interactions with the students, especially one student. I mean, it's anime. What do you expect? But it's actually really well written. Um, the voice acting was okay. Uh, the voice acting was, I don't know, it was a little off. You could say. Um, it just didn't, just didn't feel believable. Which is a weird thing to say, but it was just... There wasn't something quite right about it, about the voice acting. Storyline was pretty good. 
it wasn't really as deep as it could have been, but I mean, it was still good. Next is one that I was watching the other day, and that is a uh, Todora. Todora? That's how you pronounce it. Ah, uh, it's the one with the little blonde uh, midget tiger who lives next to the uh, guy whose mother is works in the host club, and they go to school together. And she's in love with his best friend, and his best friend's lady friend is in love with him. Half the girls are in love with him because it's an anime. I don't know. It's just it's just got a really good storyline. Um, for I feel. And um, yeah. So that's number nine. And number. Eight, we have Police Teacher and Police Twins. Uh, I'm putting them together just because Police Twins is just a spin off. Police Teacher, I find, has a pretty decent storyline. Uh, Police Teacher has always been one of those ones that I've enjoyed since I like first seen it. Uh, in fact, I just watched it the other day. I have got one episode left. And then I'm on to Police Twins again. Um, once again, one of those ones where I find that the uh, acting, the voice acting, the storyline really matches well with subject matter. And... A little bit of fan service, not so much fan service, but it's still good. Which leads us to number seven. Speaking of fan service, Handmade May. Uh, Handmade May is one of those weird ones where it's got a little, a little fair bit of fan service, but at the same time, it's got one of those really funny storylines. A really entertaining comedic storyline, I should say. Um, that's a, that's one that uh, if you haven't seen it, you should always try. Um, I have a tendency to watch at least like the first three episodes of most of it, a lot of anime, and if I don't like it by the third episode, it goes in my don't bother again list. Um, It's one of those things that, I mean, if you like it, you like it. Handmaid's May, May is literally one of those ones where you either like it or you hate it. There really isn't a middle ground with that. It's literally one side or the other. But if you like futuristic robot maids, well, there you go. Uh, next on my list... Coming at number six is Gundam Seed and Gundam Wing and Gundam Zero Zero and just about every Gundam there is. Except for there was a Gundam like a while ago, it was like little tiny Gundam things. They're like the size of kids. I don't know. It was on my TV. I really didn't enjoy that much. I think I watched a couple episodes of it and I was like, uh, nah, let's not. Uh, but Gundam... Gundam's one of those ones that I've basically been watching my entire life. Um, from most seasons. I just watched... Just finished watching um, what's it, Iron-Blooded Orphans. I found that one to be a little weak in the storyline. I mean, you look at the ones like uh, Gundam Sea, Gundam Sea Destiny, Gundam Zero Zero, uh, Gundam Wing. 
and you follow the storylines through them, and they are really deep, they're really good, they're really visceral, they're really exciting. And then you watch I Am Blooded Orphans, and it just... It's almost like they should have stretched it out longer. They tried to pack too much into too few episodes. So it just feels jumbled and forced. But, uh... Most Gundams, I will just, I will watch all the time. I really don't have a hate on any Gundam apart from the one with the little midgets. Uh, next, what is it? Number five. One I watched was a month ago. Two weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks ago? Uh, you'll lie in April. Uh, you'll lie in April is a great um, anime in that it's about. Um, It's about this kid that is re a really great pianist, but he, but he loses the ability to hear the notes, or the notes that he plays, and he meets a girl who is really good at playing the violin, and it's basically the story of her bringing him out of the spell that he's put himself under to punish himself. It's actually really good. Um, it's just the storyline in it is really beautiful and really wonderful and it really draws you in. Um, What's next? Actually, no, I'll put that one on the honorable mention. Actually, no. Uh, March came in like a lion. It is a, another really well written, really deep storyline. Um, they even took an anti-bullying PSA and put it right in the middle and actually, like, blended it really well into the story. Uh, it's about a guy that plays Shuji? Japanese chess? I know, but it teaches you how to play it. Like, at the end of each episode, it's got, like, these little cats. And they're, like, telling you... They're like, each one is like a different piece, and like each episode, they tell you like a different thing about them and how they move. And there's like a song to it, and it's like really catchy. And oh my god, but anyway, but it's got a really good uh, storyline to it. Um, really well written. Uh, I'd give it like an eight and a half out of ten. That's how. Good, I actually think it is. Uh, next. A silent voice. Which way is it? That way. That way. Basically my background. Um, once again, it's got super super deep uh, that guy there is a bully that girl there is deaf he bullies her then he finds out that it sucks to be a bully and he falls in love with her and it's just really good um, 
one issue with it is I wouldn't watch it with uh, kids. At least not young kids. Just because it does have um, both of them do try to uh, jump from a very, very high place by themselves, if you get what I mean. I'm not going to say that word because you two flies that word. I found that out the hard way. I actually got a video taken down because I said it once in it uh, when I was talking about what was it? I think it was a game, and I said I'm going to commit blah blah, and I actually got like a strike on it. Yes, it was water tanks. Because I was like going to ram a tank and I said that. I don't know what it is, but apparently YouTube doesn't like it. Um, I think that was a year now or so, so that's gone from my channel. Which I'm glad. But anyway, uh, this is a movie that I've actually watched twice now. Just because I actually like really enjoyed it. And next is one that I think most anime viewers probably for the last 30 years. Uh, when did it come out? Go from one screen to another. Two thousand five, which is oh my god, it's with Bell Dandy. Uh, it's another one of those ones that is really well written, and um, I, I'm in a Discord with a lot of other anime fans and. We have like a 30 plus room. Yes, 30 plus. And we discuss anime and each and every one of us knows, oh my god, it's... And I think most people that I talk to that are anime fans know of Bell Dandy, at least know of Bell Dandy. Be it from the countless AMVs on YouTube, to the countless backgrounds, anime pictures, fan pictures, just the countless amounts of them out there. Um, if you haven't seen it, find it. You won't be disappointed. So I'm going to do a couple honorable mentions, uh, just before I get to number one. Uh, number one really is my favorite of uh, all time. Oh, it's actually hurt my ear. <sighs> but actually, like the number one is what I think is one of the greatest anime of all time, which a lot of people are going to argue with me. But, uh, honorable mentions, Love Hina. If you haven't seen Love Hina, great series. A lot of fan service, but great series. Uh, Witch Hunter Robin. I remember seeing that on, I think it was YTV. I think. Yeah, because they used to have, on Saturday night, it would be uh, Dragon Ball, Inuyasha, one Piece, and Witch Hunter Robin, and then Gundam Seed, I think. And then some other one that I didn't really watch. Um, I'm not a big Dragon Ball fan. 
not a big One Piece fan, but the other ones I watched. Uh, what else is there? Neo Genesis, of course, Neo Genesis. Uh, Neo Genesis will always be one of my favorites. Uh, how many on here? Nope. I wrote a list because I'm not very good at. I'm not. I'm not very good at this. I'm not. I try. See, I mostly do this because I look at. Take that off. I mostly do this because if I can make one person smile, then I'm happy. That's basically the reason for this channel. If I can make one person per video smile, I'll be happy. It'll be good. So, now we come to number one. Clanet. Clanet the series, Clanet after story, and Clanet the movie. The story of heartbreak, regret, and love. For me, Clanet is always going to be one of those ones that I can go back to time and time and time again. And all the time, I will be happy to watch it. When my son gets older, I'm going to introduce him to Clanet as one of his first animes. Uh, I know that a lot of people look at Clanet as, oh, it's a cutie and it's a girl one. Meh. Nah. I think Clanet is one of those ones that you could show to somebody that hates anime and they would enjoy it. In fact, I have yet to meet somebody that once it's have watched Clanet, doesn't like it. I think it's just one of those ones that transcends genres. So, basically that's been my list. If you have a different list, put it down in the comments. Tell me what your favorites are. You may have watched something that I haven't watched that I may actually enjoy watching. Or you may have seen something on this list that you haven't seen that you may enjoy watching. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I got up for school in six hours. So... If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one.